Okay, so you're going to take one of the larger gold pieces and just do circles. You're going to need about four of them. And you're going to take the pipe or the handle part, the pole, and you're going to trace around one end of that because you're going to want to cap the ends of it. So after you get that finished, you just clean up your lines a little bit. Take um, the foam and also place the pole inside of the larger circle and then trace around that because you're going to want to cover the ends and also clean up your lines. And after you get all of that traced out and cleaned up, um, it might take a few tries to get it nice and even. You're just going to take some scissors and cut them out. Um, try to do it as clean as you can because, you know, it's going to be really um, awkward to get it straight. To get the insides, I just used an X-Acto knife and followed my lines. As you can see, they're really messy, but um, I kind of just eyeballed it a little bit and tried to get them even. After that, you're going to slip one of the rings onto there and take the shorter gold piece and slide that on. And this one doesn't fit because I'm doing this in a really big hurry, but you're going to want to make sure yours fit. And um, you're going to just put that on there. And of course, um, you're going to glue all that down. And of course, all of this is going to be painted too. And then you put another ring on, and then you put the larger gold piece on, and then you cap the ends, so then you're not just having an empty pole laying around. And then you're going to take your handle pieces, and you're going to glue them down. And make sure you don't glue them flat on the floor like this, because um, otherwise your keyblade will be misshapen. And also glue down the teeth of the keyblade, and of course, all that good stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is wrap the uh, handle in the electrical tape. Um, you can just paint it black if you want, but I think that the electrical tape works better. And you're going to take another piece of foam. This one will be um, silver, and you're going to wrap it around the tube. And then for that little space between the foam and the other piece of foam at the end of the cap, you're going to want to paint that a dark blue. Um, and that's pretty much the general gist of how you put together. Okay, so what you just saw was the fast and dirty way to make the keyblade. That was my original way of uh, how I made a keyblade. And as you can see, that one wasn't very pretty at all. Um, I've recently, uh, my original keyblade that I had made that was slightly nicer than the one you just saw, I accidentally destroyed. So I had to make a new one and I didn't feel like using the same materials as before because they weren't very refined, it wasn't very pretty. So instead I'm going to show you another really quick way to make a keyblade. This one is made from PVC pipe and so you're going to get from this thing, which is just a hunk of PVC pipe, to this, which is a nice, much nicer, much cleaner version of what I've done, and I'm going to do a really quick rundown of how you do that. So first thing you want to do is go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or something and go look at the plumbing section, and you're going to get a piece of PVC pipe. It's usually cut like a 10-foot pipe, and the one I bought is um, an inch in diameter. And it's a lot heavier, but it's also a lot stronger. Like this isn't going to bend or anything. And I know 10 feet sounds like really ridiculous, but they will cut it for you. Um, just have them cut it into the thirds or um, 40 inches, and it's only like $4. So I have like two pieces of leftover PVC, so if I ever want to make more keyblades for my friends or something, I can. Um, you're also going to want to get a chunk of um, house insulation foam. The one I used is pink um, by Foamular, I think it's the 250 foam, and um, it's going to be about an inch in thickness, and um, we'll just go from there. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to trace all of your patterns out onto the foam. I've put links down in the description bar, and you're going to cut it out using one of those long knives, the ones with like the, um, the snap-off blades, and that's what you're going to get. And of course, one side is going to be cleaner than the other. Um, it's actually probably a good idea if you flip the pattern onto the other side and do it. But you're going to want to sand it down a little bit. So please use a dust mask and sand and gloves and pull your hair back and all that good stuff and it should be good for you. And then I'm using these two pieces of PVC pipe. I sprayed it with primer before I went out and sprayed it with a um, metallic silver spray paint. And after that, um, I'm using these 
pipe these pipe fittings that are one and a quarter inch and I primed those and right here I'm putting foam on the inside to fill in the gap so it fits more snugly onto the blade and then here I am flooding the inside with glue so it sticks and holds really well and then I'm sliding them on with the same way I did the rings Alright, so I know I went through that really quickly because I actually didn't do any video when I was making new keyblades, so I had just taken some pictures. As you can see, it's pretty much the same process. I'm just using, you know, different materials. Um, like this part right here, I didn't mention before. It's just the um, the pipe fittings, the PVC. It's one and a quarter inch, like I said, and um, the inside is lined with foam, so it sticks to the blade better. And I actually think I need to repaint right here, <laughs> but um. That's all it is, and I spray painted all this gold, and I've used primer first because if you spray paint it with nothing, it's the paint's not going to hold very well. So, um, it's literally just the exact same way I did it. I'm just, instead of cardboard, I'm using PVC. So, um, like you can see, it's like kind of jacked up right here from where I cut it out versus the other side. So, what you can do is after you draw out your pattern on one side and cut out the top you can shave down the sides as in like you know trim it from the whole piece of foam and then put the pattern on the um sorry the other side and cut it out so you get that way you can kinda meet in the middle just make sure you line it up right um, I was in a really really big hurry to make a brand new keyblade that's why I'm, I didn't take very good photos or anything but um this is what I've come up with and it, I think it looks a lot better than my original and um, in that picture that I posted at the end you can see how exactly I messed up my old one um, but I really don't want to give into that it was one of my stupider moments but if you want to give this one a try um, it's really it really wasn't that expensive to make I mean the PVC pipe was like four dollars the foam was like six dollars these pieces of PVC right here. I think these were like a dollar and some change and I have two of them. Um, a little another thing that I did differently is that because these are these are bigger than what they were and I couldn't I had no way of physically trimming them down. Um, I just kind of changed the size of the freaking um, the handles a little bit so of course that's why this side's bigger and it looks kind of stupid, I guess, but um, um, that's what I did to that. And all this is just hot glued down. I was going to use E6000 glue, but I wasn't sure what the effects would be, like if it would melt through the foam or anything. People say it's okay, but I wasn't sure. But um, definitely try to use a stronger glue. Um, I was going to use also PVC for the inside of this piece right here, so it would have strong, but I I didn't have enough time because of the drying time of PVC, uh, not PVC, of the E6000 takes a little bit longer. Um, Keychain is just strips of, um, I didn't go over this in the video, but just strips of craft foam that I cut and painted silver. And then the Mickey is just, you know, a Mickey head painted silver. If you're going to use the foam, try to use a foam that the base color is the same. Like if you're going to use, um, like for the gold, maybe use a yellow foam or a white foam that way the color just like lasts longer and definitely seal it too because otherwise you're just gonna go like six or seven coats of paint versus like two or three for right here um, what I did was I took that exacto knife and I just kind of pierced it and um, I took the craft foam after I glued all this together um, and tied a piece of yarn on the end and just made it into a knot and I poked it through and I did two layers here because um, not only did I need to get the height right, um, I wanted, I guess, it, I think it also looks a little bit better because it gives it more dimension. I'll probably go in in a little bit and take like a marker or something, like a goldish marker or a weathered marker and um, just kind of add another line here to give it some more dimension and maybe also do the same in the silver just so I can get it to look better. And then um, for these indentions here, I used what I used was a little bit too big, but you can always use something a little bit smaller. Um, I used a bottle cap and I just pressed it in to the surface so I could give it a little bit of a dent. Um, and the thing about using this new material is that since I used the house foam or the insulation foam, it's a lot stronger. So like, it's not as like 
when I first, on my other Keyblade, um, one of the teeth actually snapped off and I had to glue it back on. Be um, and it happened while I was traveling, so I really couldn't, like, feasibly fix it in time, so I just glued it back on when I was at convention. But, um, this stuff is a lot stronger, although it, I will say that it does have a little bit of a smell to it, so work in a ventilated area outside or wear a, um, an appropriate mask, especially if you're sanding it because you don't want to breathe any of that stuff in. It's not, it's not good for you. Also, a spray paint too, just make sure you take a break every now and then and get, like, breathe away from all this because, like, spray paint is just like, ugh. And I've left this outside long enough to where the smell has just, you know, gone. Um, if you want, you could probably seal this thing, but I probably wouldn't seal it, do it on the foam. I would seal, like, the pipe and then all these fittings right here. And, um, I think that's all I got. Um, that's, this is, that was just a more updated way of how I made my Keyblade. I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a really long time, and I'm really sorry about it. But things have been going on, and that's all I got. So, um... If you need help or anything, I can try my best in the comments, but um, just let me know what's going on. Thanks, guys.